Welcome, welcome everyone. This is a very exciting moment for me. Obviously, as you will see, this is the first episode of anything on this channel, but this is me playing Aiden Chronicles. Aiden? Aiden? I'm gonna say Aiden, so I hope that's a fine with everyone for however many episodes this is going to be, but I love this game. I mean, I, I'm, I'm gonna say a lot about this game as we go through it. <laughs> There's a lot to be said, but in spite of the things that I will mention later, I absolutely adore this game. Um, I do have a couple caveats before actually getting started with the game. First of all, I am obviously have played through this many times, so I am not going to be playing this as though it is my first time playing it. There are some exploits. We'll get into those. I'm fully going to utilize those just because it's funny um, and useful. Also, this is actually not the unmodded version of the game. I am using a mod called Aiden, Aiden Patch, which is on the Aiden subreddit. I will link to all of that in the uh, description below if anyone wants to use this. I do not know what all of the changes are to the game with the patch, so that's going to be something fun for at least myself to see. Um, let's see, what else do I need to say? I don't really think anything else. Oh, I, I suppose one thing I noticed is that the music playing right now is not the same as what would normally be playing, and I think that's a good change from the patch because it, the music that would otherwise be playing now is harsh, and this is a little bit more uh, toned down. So I think if my mouse was in the way there, I'll, it's now off of there, so I'll get started. Yay. I am always Aleron, just because I'm not creative, as you can see by the name of this channel, so we'll get started with Aleron. Yes, your majesty, right away, your majesty. Why does the king always ask me to find a boy? I'm a cook, not a ranger. Aleron! Aleron! I don't know what this voice is. I'm just going to say right now, as I'm editing this, the voices do not get any better, and I'm both so sorry and you're welcome for the hilarity that will ensue with how terrible, just terrible, these voices are. Hmm, let me think. When was the last time I saw him? Yesterday? Oh, look at those handsome faces. Oh god, and that noise. Oh. oh, these graphics really bring you back, don't they? I mean, that's not the worst graphics for an N64. Although, this was a 2001 game, so I'm not super sure when, uh, when the game came out relative to the life cycle of the N64. Oh, Abrican. Oh boy. He's run off again, hasn't he? I don't know, Sir Abrican. Who can depend on this squire? Sir, I often depend on him. Naturally. But you're a cook, not a knight of the realm. Ugh. Wait, whoa, hang on. Oh, silly enchantment. I was like, I never saw that in the game. Arrogant squire! Well, in his defense, that was actually pretty cool and would be useful if that was a thing in the game. Ah, uh, here we are. What is happening with the sky? Good yeah, boy. That is actually, I recall that from the base game, so that is not a fault of the, uh, the mod. the smallest rat you're gonna see in the game. Nothing odd in the kitchen? Any strangers coming around? Not that I've noticed, no sir. And why should he run away? Where do you think he is? Oh. Under an 
ever-changing, perhaps violent sky. Oh, right, put a guard in the main hall. Send someone into the library. Just for funsies. And question the magicians. Just find him. And who cares what the cook has to say? You know, I have exactly no recollection of really any of this other than when he first gets out of the kitchen. And as many <laughs> as many times as I've played this, I've only watched this really one time. Ah, uh, Rada. Yes, because apparently he's messed everything up, which is not exactly untypical. Just wait till I get Jim. Uh, really using that uh, fireball animation in this opening, aren't they? Now, another thing you're going to notice about this cook is that you see him no more than what is in this uh, opening scene. I don't think he ever shows up again uh, unless you go find him. Which is uh, really just a smart choice on H2 Entertainment's part. Oh my god. Prince Sheridan. He's in the forest. Forest? Why on earth would he go there? One of the farmers is missing. He's gone to rescue the poor man. Alone? Uh, you know Alaron. There's a very real chance that I am going to entirely avoid listening to myself saying these voices. Ah, here we go. Hello? Kendall? You must be out here somewhere. Kendall? It's me, Alaron. I spoke to your wife. The ellipses really make it seem like there should be something else going on here. She's worried. She hasn't seen you all morning. Come on out, Kendall. <laughs> Just for the sake of my neighbors, I'm not going to yell that. Do you hear me? Hello? Are you out here? There we go. And now we're into the game. All right. Now, I've already tried to change the camera angle with the right stick, which is unfortunately not a thing in the PS... Uh, or the PS4. The N64 era. But, time to open up a chest. Oh, thank God there are two healing potions in here. There's usually one. All right. Moving... Ooh, okay, my sneaking is working. As that really matters to me right now. And we have what are... Uh, I suppose equivalent to dwarves. Yes, the forest is quite lovely, Yuli, but foolish do not be. Goblins roam the wood, and trouble there has been. Yes, so I've heard. What is it? Alaron? Hail and well met, honored Marari. How, do, how be you this day, pup? Well, are you? I am happy, and I am well. Ah, and what brings you to the forest? What indeed? These woods are perilous. Goblins be the enemies of traders and squires. Meanwhile, the king and all his knights are searching the castle for you. I haven't seen any goblins. Recently, there have been... Uh, recently, they have been attacking caravans and traders. Lucky are we to slip past with our spice. But our magic does aid us. Even still, we must move quickly. Take care, pup. But, Edder? I have to find Kendall. Perhaps he is westerly. Or somewhere to the east. We are traveling to, from Tailwalk. Tailwalk? Where's that? Now, here's the thing. This guy is a squire. He's the squire in a kingdom. Kind of on a coastal area, but... You'd think you'd know more about the world, and once we get to the world map, you'll see exactly what I mean by that. Tailwalk is a land to the south, south of the forest along the river. Is it far? Not for us. No, not for traders. 
though we will be happy to see our homes in Eroman. Yes, indeed. In any case, we do not see your candle along the path from there to here. He must be somewhere else. May you find him safely and quickly before the king is too angry. Wait a minute. Is the king angry? Oh, you know the king. A hot temper, but a kind soul. I see more than enough of his temper these days. Yes, but then who is at fault there? Uh, hush, Yuli. Can't you see the boy's worried enough? Why don't you bring some spice? We are carrying his favorite. Hogarov, the royal ponies relish it. Ponies? Uh, is it expensive? For you, a special price. Two gold pieces. I have one gold piece. Only one. Are you sure? This is very fun, Pogorov. I know it's the finest header, but with one piece of gold, I can't do much bargaining. Very well, very well. We traders know what it's like to be a little light on gold, pup. Indeed, we do suppose we shall. That this one single time gold piece, gold time, will do. Thank you. And now... I must find Kendall. He's dead, you know. Be careful, pup. Drained you may be, but more than rats or bats you are not for. Kill you they will. Don't be in the woods after dark, pup. Let's see him alive again. Too bad, nice he was. <laughs> Absolutely reminds me of Stewie from Family Guy. They're dead, you know. <laughs> okay, now, the woods suck. I mean, let's just call a spade a spade here. The oh, there we are. Well, battle. Okay, has anyone watching this, have you played, uh, ooh, I think it was called Quest 64? It was this little guy, and I think the map was kind of similar to this, and it had these little, uh, I don't know what the shape is, but it, it looked like this. This was the map layout. This was, uh, what am, what's the weapon that I have in the shield? This must be part of the patch. But Quest 64 kind of had this similar battle um, area and layout and everything. I never actually played it, I only just saw it, <laughs> and that's when I noticed it for the first time. But let's attack this bat from behind! Oh, he's still alive. Yeah, attacks tend to, uh, oh my god, that's a lot. That's a lot from one bat, good lord. Uh, attacks tend to hurt more from behind, but also they tend to miss a lot. But not to bats, bats really just suck, thankfully. <laughs> And we've been victorious. And here is the... He, okay, there's a lot here. So let's uh, let's try to break this down quickly. So on the left, under train, uh, you can see how much experience I got. And then you can see XP cost and XP remaining. XP remaining is how much experience I have. So there is a level system. You can see I'm level 1 at the top there. I think uh, uh, XP remaining, total XP, next level. Yes, under the stats on the right side. You do level up, but I think the only thing that leveling up affects is your health. Um, and then the the experience under train, uh, or the experience remaining, you can see it on both sides there, is used to individually level up all of your skills, all of your stats, skills, and spells. I love, I absolutely love this mechanic. It's... I don't know. I, you know, a lot of people also did not like Final Fantasy 2, but I loved it. I loved the way that you leveled up things individually by using them. And I also love being able to use the individual, um, or the aggregate experience that you have and just picking what you want to do with it. Uh, and the, uh, the skills are, I think, more expensive if you just do it out in the field. But if you go to the towns, there are trainers. And if their skill is higher than yours, they can level it up with the experience, obviously, but it's cheaper. Now, if someone in the comments wants to 
uh, correct me on that, you're more than welcome to, because I can't be certain that I remembered that correctly. But obviously with 75, I don't have enough. And this is the treasure that you would get, but I didn't have any treasure from that battle, so I will just move on. All right, so first battle down, going into the pause menu. From here, you can see what I have equipped, and I'm going to use... I am going to use a healing potion. Just because I don't know. I can't be certain that I... that the patch will have anything in here that makes it... Oh, outstanding. It's cold here. Kendall? Kendall, is that you? <gasps> a ghost! Oh, sorry. A spirit! <laughs> wow. Enthralling. But a new journal entry has been added. Which, uh, from... Okay, so here's the main menu. Now, what you would not normally see... I don't even know if the manual tells you this. I, I would imagine it would have to. But if you press the... What would on the, um... On the N64 controller be the right trigger or left trigger keys. You can go over here to the menu to save, which I'm actually going to do. For right. Apparently I had to say, oh yes, because I was testing this out a little bit. So I've overridden that save, and on the right side is the camp and the journal. Camp allows you to camp. Wherever you are, you can just uh, bunker down there for the night. Or maybe like 12 hours or something like that and heal a little bit or maybe fully we'll find out and then the journal so i saw a strange spirit in the forest that is what <laughs> he wrote in the journal and you see that every time when there's a new journal entry added so you don't have to wonder and oh, what's this a hat what could this be <gasps> kendall's hat surely this means he's fine <laughs> all right so uh, on the right there, on the bottom, it says details. For the yellow down arrow, you can see more information. So it gives me plus one protection and minus one stealth. I have never found stealth to be all that useful, so I don't really care about it. But I do like the protection, so we're going to put it on. You cannot see... I think the only things you can see on the actual person are in the... Um, are in battle, and they are the weapons and shields and I think that's it so ooh, another battle or oh I don't know is this a battle would a rat be a battle let's see if I can sneak up on him because I do have some stealth he's looking directly at me so aha uh, oh and he goes first are you kidding me uh well normally I think you get the uh preemptive attack but I didn't there so or the rats are just that fast. Oh yes, I don't think this you could really see it that much in the last battle, but when you're right up on top of someone, the amount you can move dramatically decreases. You can kind of wiggle around a person, but for the most part, you're stuck right next to them. Now some bats and some other enemies kind of waddle around a little bit when they attack, so sometimes they move just far enough away that you can really get out of there. It. Oh my god. There we go. Uh, yeah, like I said, not a lot of hits. Although there are some weapons that really increase your uh, hit. Oh, critical hit. Haha. <laughs> yeah, critical hits are so good in this game. They really get you out of some stuff. 150 experience, and I still can't level up anything. As you can see, the lowest cost I think is for hafted. Which, these hafted, missile, sword, shield, these are the types of weapons, or uh, shield, obviously. And, uh, yeah, looks like hafted is the cheapest anything at 1600, so we're going to hang on to the experience. And I want to hang on to the experience anyway, because the, I am aware of something coming up that I want to save it for. So, I think I've been going for... Hang on, let me bring up my... Well, about 20 minutes. Yeah, I'll, I'll go a little bit further here. I know there's a rat around... Aha. Yeah, draw distance in this game, not high. It's about well, 10 feet in front of your character. Oh, and you can see them jumping forward a little bit there. 
when enemies are moving, if you press A or whatever the A button would be that you have set up for yourself, it move it completely ends their action. Occasionally, there's a little glitch that I love when it happens. When you're doing that, the care or the enemy just won't have moved at all or have done any action. So I always make sure to skip through their action just in case that glitch hits and they don't actually end up doing anything. It's truly great, especially when you're fighting some of the uh, some of the more dangerous enemies and then you do that and they don't move and they don't use their horribly powerful spells on you. It's... Oh, I think that's one of the things, or one of the reasons why I like this so much is just that kind of BS really gets you through sometimes because as with many older games that they don't have the option to patch anything, some of those, ooh, actually, having said that, I'm not sure if maybe that exploit got patched out, so we'll have to see. Um, but as I was saying, uh, something about patching and games, whatever, it's already gone. <laughs> so I'm going to talk about this thing. This looks kind of Lovecraftian and terrible, and there's a portal. I have... You might have to press A on these. I am pressing A inside of it just to activate it. Uh, someone will explain this in just a little bit, but they are, I think they will anyway, they are portals. When you find its matching pair or its other you know, portal, then it will bring you back here. Um, I think, you know, I don't actually know if I were to have not, uh, oops, there it is. If I were, if I didn't hit A there, uh, there is a portal much, much later that I think might have made traveling just an absolute slog. I wouldn't actually even know how to get back from it, um, but we'll get there when we get there. Can I fall down here? Ooh, I can. Some cliffs you can fall right off and some you can't, so it's hard to say. I'm going to save real quick. Um, but yeah, that portal, it... I'm trying to remember exactly where it's at, but I'm, I'm pretty sure that once you're there, you're pretty much stuck, although there might be a way back, uh, and I might be able to figure that out when I get there, so we'll see that, but I want to talk about this intersection here. I had the hardest time, and once, I probably in the next episode, we'll, we'll come back to this area, but there's so many ways to go here, and this path is kind of like hidden back a little bit, um, or maybe it's this one. I can't remember exactly, because it's just a it's a maze it's really hard in this game because there's no mini map there's only the i'll bring it up here there's only the broad overworld map which i mean it doesn't give you a lot it pretty much just gives you some basic details and that's really all you got going for you oh hey speaking of draw distance here's a chest over here with some gold in it i definitely was not going to see that if i hadn't just wandered over here now, let's see. I think this is the way that I haven't gone yet, and there's probably a bat. Oh, God, the faces on these things. Oh, good, there's two of them. Well, since I may be getting hit a lot, I will talk about using items. If you press... Oh, nope, that's not an item. If you press down, which would be the, da the yellow down arrow key that brought you the details in the menu, you can do certain actions, which are your skills and spells. If you do up you can use potions. I don't want to do any of that right now, so I'll move, I'll, I'll press B and end my turn. I really just hope one of these guys doesn't come up here. The giant bats are not usually a problem. A, a, pers a single person could probably take on all of them without too many problems, but you can never be sure with this game. I'm, ju ugh, I'm just waiting for them to hit me with a critical attack. Oh, thank God. <laughs> okay. Yeah, some of those dying animations will take a little while. It's, that's another one of the charming little glitches you can run into. Is they'll just be down there dying for probably 10, 15 seconds. And you're like, is it the game phrase? What's happening? <laughs> oh, look at that sexy underbody. There we go. And... 150 experience. All right. Still saving up that experience for something else. Okay, I'm going to check. I think there might be a chest up here. No. Cool. Love that for me. Oh. Uh, 
Huh. I don't really remember which way is which here, but maybe there's a chest up here. <laughs> Ooh, no, but there is crap on the ground. Ooh, 100 gold. I think I missed that on the last time I went through here. So I'm going to go this way, which I think might be... Oh, well, I think you know, here are some more Mirari. Ah, two of them. Sister, look! Here's the boy from the castle. He's a bold one, wandering alone. He's an idiot. Good day, Marari. I'm happy to see some friendly faces here. Gatso and Nenzarin being happy to meet you here. And we're surprised to see you, pup. Aleron, is it not? Why so far from the castle? You know the trouble in these woods. Is this another one of your impulsive adventures? Or are you lost? Lost? I know this forest like a book. Then you know there are spirits and strange creatures here. You might be startled at any moment. We Marari are protected by our magic, but you... Oh, some magic? It has been many years since chaos reached into our plane. Indeed, but the forces against us now grow stronger every day. More and more we hear reports of monsters. And of goblins! <laughs> it will take more than few spells to match them nowadays. Don't worry, Gatsone. I always know how to fight. After all, I'm the kingdom's finest squire. Eh, we'll see about that. Not according to Sir Abrakin. He tells me you're learning well, but not as quickly as he would like. Ooh, the shade. With all due respect, Sir Abrakin is not never happy with anyone. Uh, yeah, fair enough. Sir Abrakin rarely misjudges any of the king's squires. If he finds you lacking, there must be cause. He just doesn't like orphans. Uh, well, really shoehorning in the exposition there. You are as brash as they say you are. Well, it's the truth. Piece of shit. I mean, you have much to learn from him, Aleron. Think twice before you fight anything in the woods. I didn't have a choice. Are you kidding me? I've been attacked by all these horrible bats and rats, you know, giant monsters that we normally see every day. Abrakin's in for a surprise today. One of our farmers is missing. Uh, I've come to find him and bring him home. Uh, you know, there's something about this text that I just can't read. <laughs> a rescue! How exciting! Sister, why are the youngest squires always the most ambitious? It's a mystery to me, sister. I th what voice have I chosen here? But you'll never find this farmer on your own. The forest is enormous. You need assistance. I like working by myself. Now that's relatable. I mean... I see. Isn't there any way we can help? Well, if you see Kendall, ask him to call my name. Ask him to call loudly. When I hear that, I'll run toward him and the rescue will be over. Oh, look at you and your shiny face and sweet summer child. Eh, anyway. Then we'll go back to Guernia safe and sound. Well, that really is the game. Just find Kendall and call it a day. Be careful, pup. These woods are no place for a half-trained squire. So whatever you're doing, best to finish it as soon as possible. Or even sooner. I'm sure the whole castle awaits your return. All right, now with those terrible voices out of the way, probably not going to stop them, I think it's time to call it a day for this episode. I will just make a disclaimer now. The audio quality might not be great for the first few episodes we have here because I'm just going to be playing through a few episodes and then I'll be doing the mixing and all the stuff afterwards. So if the initial pickup isn't great, well, then the uh, resulting quality is not going to be the best either. Or I may just never figure out how to mix audio quality. But with that said, I will call this a day on the episode. And have a great day, everyone. <clears throat>